Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick demo of um, a breathing exercise using the straw for that little bit of an increased resistance in our exhale. It's going to possibly be a bit of a bad demo because I've got this silly boot on, but I will do my best um, to, to demonstrate. So um, always the same thing with this breathing through the straw is we always want to make sure that we're feeling that breath come from the bottom up so we're not getting any pushing down or pushing out into the lower abdomen or the, or the pelvic floor. So remember as you breathe out, Feel that gentle recruitment front middle and back of the pelvic floor gently lifting not full power gently lifting the, the lower abdomen and then the, the middle of the, the upper abdomen will follow with this gentle everything coming in together you'll feel it's almost like a natural internal corset so uh, just a quick review you're going to breathe in breathing wide into your pelvic floor you feel the rib cage open the torso opens everything opens and as you breathe out imagine you're breathing back from the pelvic floor Feeling this natural drawing in of that kind of pelvic and lower abdominal area. The pressure lifting up and away and that power coming from the pelvic floor giving you a longer exhale. So that's our breathing strategy. Right, um, and then now we're going to use our tabletop uh, position but we're going to add in um, a, a movement away from the body and a movement closer to the body. So we're going to challenge the midline more with a further away movement and then we're gonna also bring in a little bit more rectus abdominis work by kind of bringing the knee closer, which gives us a bit of a crunching sensation. So, um, first of all, you're gonna lie down on your back, okay? Um, I'm gonna assume you know what you would do, do with breathing from what we just talked about and previous um, practice on other exercises. Uh, we're gonna take our breath in to prepare. As you breathe out, you're gonna start bringing the table, leg up to tabletop. Okay, at the top there, you would take your breath in. Now as you breathe away, we're going to start reaching the leg. Staying stable and controlled here. Check your tension in your abdominal wall. Is it good? Have you got good tension here? Great. Now, breathe in. Uh, so you would have taken a breath in there. I was just talking. You would have taken a breath in there. When you get to your next exhale, you're going to bring the leg back. And you're going to move all the way through to this crunch position. So still exhaling. Take a breath here. Breathe out, reach away. Breathe in. Breathe out, crunch back in. Breathe in here. Breathe out, crunch away. Breathe in here. Breathe out. Breathe in here. Breathe out, reach away. Breathe in here. Breathe out, come back to tabletop. Breathe in here. Breathe out, return to the start position. You would then do the same on the other leg. I hope that makes sense. Um, and also, I just did quite a few reps there, but um, you would just work with what your fatigue point is that day. So your fatigue point will be when either your pelvic floor is fatiguing and it's no longer responding and participating, uh, or you're feeling like the core is just having a bit of a harder time coming in and staying with you through the exercise, or that you can't, you're starting to lose the ability to keep the, the trunk stable. Listen to those cues. That's usually just a sign that something on the inner core is going, oh, I'm a bit tired now. Um, so even though maybe the leg muscles can handle it, you might find that the core isn't. So just listen to that. If that means that your, your number of um, reps there per, per set um, comes down to three, that's fine. That's where you're starting. You would make that your starting point and then each time you work out, your goal is to say, can I get another rep in? Uh, until you can just keep going. And I mean, like, you know, I just kept going there. I could have kept going for longer. Um, which again, when you get to that point where you could do like 15 of those without stopping, we want to make that exercise harder so you stay challenged, okay?